Hi there, today we are going to talk about how to use ChatGPT inside of Excel. In order to do that, we need an API from ChatGPT. First, go to openai.com. You will see this website. Click here, API. Then you will have this website. Logging in here first. After logging in, you will have this personal on the top left side. Then click here. Then go to view API keys. Then you are able to generate API key. Then click here, copy it, paste it in Notepad or somewhere else. Please be aware that this key is appear only once. If you lost it, you have to regenerate it. Once we got the API key, we are going to link it by using Power Query. Thanks to the Andre, he prepared the, the following code. So we are going to use this code. And then later on, Nick took over his code. He developed it further with the two different Excel files. Then I download his file. I develop it further like this way. What we are going to do is more or less two things. Demonstration of the tool, basic idea of how to build the tool. After downloading the file from below link, we have to unlock the VBA code. Please go to the folder where you save the Excel file, property, general, select the unblock checkbox, select OK button. Next, we have to unlock the Power Query security in Excel. Once you open Excel file, it looks like here. Just click chat GPT button here. We are going to have this message box. Just to select this part and saving it. The next step is inserting API key in Excel. Go to API key sheet here. After that, go to this part, insert your API key, which you copied it. The first sheet is a single question we can ask JetGPT. Come to here, which is question part. Just type your prompt. As an example question, I will ask capital city of France. Click chat GPT button here. You can see background is running and already calculated it. Paris is capital city of France. Let's ask a second question. So I will ask capital city of USA. Click chat GPT. Then you can see the new answer is uh, sorting like this way. Let's say you complete your all question. You want to save this file. Just click this button. Then you can have this part as a separate file. In my case, I save this file in the picture folder. Let's click this button and what's happening. As you can see, the ChatGPT results are created here. If you click again, you can see another file as well. Before to go multiple question section, I just want to share original Nick's file. I upgrading the graphically and also I edited it save as file in VBA code. Let's move on multiple question part. So in the same manner, we create the chat GPT function part and I added the save as file function as well. The idea of using it is a following. In question column, you put your questions. In this example, I prepared four different questions. Then click chat GPT button. Running background query, you can see here. And then after the calculation is over, you will see answer in column C and you will also see time answer in column D. Now we got the, all this answer from chat GPT. Everything looks quite nice. I will click the save as button again. You can see chat GPT result with multiple, single and multiple. Let's click inside how it looked like. It is possible to see only results parts are saved in separate file. 
In this sheet, you will see information on ChatGPT model, temperature, or max token. This information is coming from OpenAI model ChatGPT3. It shows DaVinci model, Curie model, ADA model, etc. Token are following like this way, and then it explains the detailed characteristic of each model. And in here, you can see the detailed information of a temperature and max tokens. So in case of a temperature, if you closer to zero, more correct answer. If it is closer to one, then more diverse answer, you will get it. And in case of a token, it's uh, the number of token, you can use it for API. Then let's have a deeper look on inside Power Query part. Please go to Data tab, click New Query, go to Combine Queries, go to Launch Power Query Editor. You will have Power Query Editor, the FX Open AI, which is developed by Andre. So if you click here, it asks for prompt, which is the question part. The model is you can put DaVinci or ADA, etc. Maximum token, you can put it like this. The temperature, which we mentioned it just before. You are also able to see the detailed code. Home tab, advanced editor. You can see the code, which modified by Nick here. From Andre code from here. Let's close it. And he split into seven different queries. If you go question, go to home tab, advanced editor. He added it table transform from question to text. Then we use it the question here. Same manner for API key as well. Here you can see the questions he made it, question table, multiple questions as well. In each query, you can go to home tab and advanced editor and see how Nick distinguished each of them. As a trial, let's just take it Andre code and then injecting here. Please go to Andre website from below link and you copy them. Control C, go back here. In home tab, go to new resources, other resource, go to blank query. Go to advanced editor, delete them all, control V, done. Double clicking it, let's say FX, open AI, original. Automatically, his coding is implementing into here. In here, we can directly testing it. So for example, like here, invoking it for confidentiality and so on. Click this button we can cancel it in order to solve this issue you have to go back here and then advanced editor you need an api key here so you have to copy paste it into here i just uploaded the api key inside here let's uh, redo it click the here and click connect then you are able to see the feedback from chat gpt but this is not comfortable. It's better to do in the Excel. Therefore, need develop it further into separate queries. So basically, we don't need this part. Erase it, this part. Just click delete button. You are able to delete it. This one also, we don't need it. So we just deleted it. In order to close this uh, Power Query editor, just go to close and roll button select close and load again then you can go back here and this one we don't need it just close down long story short just type here in the question area then you are directly able to use chat gpt please aware that api service is not free if you go to here so we can have only maximum 4000 token which means that $18 in free credit that can be used your first three months Lastly, let's have a look at the save as file VBA as well. Press Alt F11 button. First, the two parts are coded by Nick. 
single question refresh query is linked to the this button for multiple question refresh which is linked to this multiple question sheet the below part save as file which is done by me first i define the variables after that selecting starting location of the result adjusting column width for result section in addition adjusting zoom at the end i save as new file here is this sign but in your case you have to put backslash for changing file name you can change this part for multiple questions save file the coding is almost the same however we have to using sheet 2 which is multiple question sheet also here you can change the file name as you wish that's all for chat gpt excel file tool thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye